Planned Parenthood invited Chris Dudley to be a part of our endorsement process just like any other candidate, and he refused that invitation. Instead, he sent us this letter where he outlined that he is in favor of restrictions to a woman's right to choose that Oregon voters have turned down time and time again. Chris Dudley is anti-choice. 25% of people out there believe, who are voting for Dudley, or say they're voting for Dudley, that he is actually pro-choice. I know at this event there are over 500 women uh, business leaders, political leaders, and I think it's incredibly important that as folks are going into this event that they know that that is not the case. So I don't believe at all that he's pro-choice. Uh, I think he's allowed the media to portray him that way. He wouldn't participate in the endorsement process, and to me, any candidate for public office that's not willing to say on the record that they are pro-choice and advocate for age-appropriate sex education and the woman's right to choose is not a pro-choice candidate. Well, Chris Dudley is actually anti-choice and I think the portrayal in the media is actually incorrect and that's the reason why I'm out here today. The governor is one of the most important uh, positions in our state because there's so many health care issues that come up uh, at the state level. So I do think that it's very important to have a pro-choice uh, governor. Uh, as a leader of the state of Oregon, it's, Im it's imperative that the governor of Oregon be pro-choice because that's where the people of Oregon are. We're pro-choice.